Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is episode 17. If you're a beginner, be assured that in this channel, you will learn, you'll become profitable, you'll get results. So I don't think you need to go anywhere. Stick here and be here ready to learn. So this is episode 60, uh, episode 17. And I want us to look at GBP USD because this episode, how I will do this episode is just that the way I can teach someone something new. So every time you hear an episode, just come watch and I guarantee you, you will learn something new. So we are doing monthly analysis because we are seven days in this month. And I want to tell you why some pairs are easier to trade during the month and why some are not. And now we are looking on GBP USD. GBP USD on monthly, people are paying attention here, but I want us to zoom this GBP USD a bit because in my channel, you'll come and learn something new. You'll come and learn something that you didn't or you had not spot before. And I don't know if you guys you had seen that GBP USD had a double top. Like this thing had a double top. Can you see? Comment down below if you had spotted this double top. So GBPSD all along, all along, it has a double top. This means that it is a long-term sale. Long-term in terms of we don't know where this market will go. And you see, when the market is a long-term sale, they'll frustrate you by fast buying it, uh, retracement and all those things. But that's, that does not tell you that it is not a long-term sale. And you, and you, when you look at the when you look at the monthly time frame, that's the only time you can see this possible double. Uh, it's not even possible double top. It's a double top because it broke half. It broke neckline. That's the only way you can notice that this double top exists. If you just use one hour thirty minutes, you never see this double top. So are we clear? GBPUSD has a double top, and this double top, where is the neckline? This is the neckline. That's our neckline. Guys, can you see something here on the neckline? We got a very big break on the neckline and the market did BWA. BWA is only taught in my mentorship program. I only teach it to my students. So it's a strategy that I have preserved for my students. So if you want to know BWA strategy, you can only join the class. And by the way, I'll be hosting international students. Uh, I will be hosting like five international students, already two people from, um, I think it's Australia and Uganda, they have already booked. So three more, um, three more spots left for July class. And if at all you want, you're in a, a abroad, you're in this country and you would want still to get my mentorship, we can do it via online. So here we can see clearly that a double top and it's monthly breaking the half, the neckline. So let me write it for you. That we go step by step. I want you to sh I want to show you what we have on GBPUSD neckline. Comment down below. And that's what I've been saying. GBPUSD to trade it is not easy. Comment down below if you had seen that double top. If you have not seen it, say just eh, it's the first time. Thank you for opening my eyes because in this channel, your eyes will be open your eyes will be open just type comment there thank you for opening my eyes i never saw that double top so that's a double top that's a neckline the neckline has been broken so it has done bwa so all what we are witnessing uh it is a, a retracement this is a retracement so what i can say guys uh something that I was saying, if I ever reach 100,000 on this channel, I'll teach like all my strategies that I say they are premium. So, because I believe we are stuck at 50, I don't need 50, what, 54, 55 subscribers. If we ever hit 100,000, I'll teach BW and other strategies. So, if you, you are watching me and you know you can't afford my mentorship, the only thing you can do is to watch my videos, share my videos, comment, and pray God we hit 100K <laughs> so that I can share this strategy. And that's what even I said on TikTok. When I was going on TikTok live, I was telling them, if they can have a thousand people live on TikTok, I will teach you the strategy anyway. 
that's a story for another day. So BW has occurred, but in, in short, what we are trying to say is that this market gonna drop, but never joke with BWA. The market can go even here. It can come here and tap here. And that's what I'm saying, where it is, even if we 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 try and uh, and measure half, we measure half of this. Can you see where half is? Most probably, and I'm saying most probably, this market can first come there half. Um, it is not it is not uh hard for it to come. Let me put it a blue uh, color. Most probably, if they continue buying that market, the agenda is to come to that half. You can see. With this double top, we can see clearly what happened with this double top. When you had this double top, the market never even stopped at the half. And that's something maybe it is making this market, this is something that is making this market maybe want to do a retracement. So yes, the market is at 24, 23, and the half is at 29, 13. And that's what I'm saying. Yes, the market can be a sell. It can be a long-term sell. But everyone can be taken down by a retracement. And do you know how many pips are those? They are 499, almost 500 pips. So I want us, if this market will ever go to 29, revisit, revisit this video and you'll know why. Why did GBPUSD buy when I was saying it's a double top? There's a high possibility the market can go up to 1.29 one three it can go up so i don't want us to be in a rush don't be in a rush to trade gbp usd and you see this market has a long way it has a very long way to go because of course if a market breaks at double top they always drop it will always drop that distance so i don't think if they have this long way like all, all these thousands peeps um, and then they just do things in a rush. They're just buying time. They are buying time to trap both ways because if those who are buying, the market is a sale. Those who are selling, they can take it up. And that's the game. You see, Forex is a game and whoever has more wisdom, not even more wisdom, whoever has the blueprint is the one who wins in this game. So even me, I'm not even targeting up to their down. I can target the half of this distance, the half of this distance. And you can see they have ever tried to come to that half. So they can come to, they can, they can come to 0 0.9940. It sounds crazy, but it is possible. It's better to see something in the market and then you're like, okay. Or even you can measure half of this they can come back to make a double bottom. So half of that will be making a double bottom, you see? So they can do half of the whole distance or half of that half distance. And if the market can come here, let me show you. If this market can come here, GPSD is an interesting, it's like uh, the way you just play a game and you don't know how it will turn up, but you are, you have a clue. So if they drop here, this market can make a double, a double bottom and all along. And then maybe now they come and break. So we are, we are covered. We are not one-sided and that's the problem. Never be one-sided of the, the market. The market does not care of your emotions. It will go to the opposite direction and then blow your account and then now go to where you had decided. So never be double up, uh, one-sided. Always be, be, uh, view both sides in a way that this market, if you're told it can happen, this is what can happen. And you see, I don't want to 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 analyze GBP USD again in this month of June, because like I have said, GBP USD can drop, and the only one this market can drop is giving us another entry confirmation. So where it is, the spot the market is it is right now it has made a double top you can see double top still are uh, confirms what is double top confirming a sell so we have a double top that was previous and then we have a small double top so this small double top 
is as a result of this big double top that has broken half. So all along, the market is um, a sell and it has given us a pattern to sell. So here I will come here and even uh, highlight it, possible double top. Because now this one is possible double top because um, we don't have the breaking of half because when the market breaks half, that's when it is uh, it stopped being possible to possible. So these are possible double top. And we can even do quickly. So you can see if that's our double top, this is our neckline. So I don't need to keep having so many lines uh, because even we can't sell to the neckline but I can have a line up to the half and have a line up to the half. So that's, that's our line, that's our line to our half. So I can even dot it, uh, let's make it dotted so that it is visible. So that's where we are believing that if this market drop, it will drop up to there. So at this moment, the market is at 24, 26. If it drops, it means the market will go 924 pips. So there is the 400 that we are speculating or trying to think which is the best place that this market wants to go because it has consolidated for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When a market consolidates for so many months, like seven months, it means there's a place they want to touch. So they can touch 400 pips to 29 and then they can drop up to 15 as uh, 1502. So that's according to the analysis that I have done. So the possible double top, how do we enter the possible double top? What's the entry of this market? What is the entry? I need to do a box because of course we were waiting for red candle. You see, if last month, the month of May, this red candle just engulfed the green, that might be a sell. It could be a confirmed sell. But right now, we do not have any anything. We do not have anything. So we put a box. We do WBB. So we are putting a box. And that's what I'm saying. Trying to trade you, you GBP USD this month, it will not be easy. Why? Because what if the box is broken on above trying to reach here? So I've told you, if GBP USD buy beyond 2600 and above, just know they are going to 29 and immediately they tap there, that market will drop. So just to know that, that's the reason. Most probably that will be the reason. So here I'll just say, I'm waiting on my WBB. So you see, I cannot I cannot tell you guys that, oh, GBP is this a sell, it is a buy, because even if it's a long-term sell, the sell has not yet confirmed. We cannot speak of even buying, but there's possibility the market will buy. And you see, in every trade, just know you're not supposed to be involved in every movement that the market is making. The market may be making a movement of buy and you're not involved because you don't trade everything in the chart. So this is the problem many people are doing. When now I've done my analysis, there's no way, let me even lock those analysis, they can't move. So I've done my analysis, I'm very aware that I have two options, like the market, it's either I come on, on July, see what happens or I come, uh, I find maybe in the next week, the market is at 29. You see, you, you can be, I can even put an alert here, 29. So that if, if ever this market reach here, it can give me an alert, 2,900. So I can put that alert. Let me put that alert, 2,900. Why am I putting this alert? I don't want to forget my analysis. You see, there are sometimes we forget what we had analyzed and then the market is just going at 29 and you're thinking, why is my market just flipping on 29? Why? What is happening? So, so I have a 29 alert. I have 29 alert. And I have 26 alert, 1.26 alert. So I have like, how many? Let me remove 25 alert. That one, it's not necessary. So the problem with now with many people, they start weekly time frame. They never go to monthly. They will find the double top, the same double top that you're seeing it on daily. But what will they see? The double top has broken the box. So many people are selling. 
comfortably. They are saying, oh, GBPSD is a sell. Why? There's a double top on weekly. It has broken her, it has broken my box, or it gave me a, be a bearish handle. But did you check monthly? Is the monthly time frame agreeing? No. So you cannot even have that. Um, you cannot say that the market is a a, a long term, a long term buy, a, a long term sell. And you see, there's something else happened here. You can see on channel, uh, on weekly, we had this channel like a double bottom. And you see, this was a double bottom. Let me show you. When you look at higher, lower time frame, it confuses you. This is a double bottom. So we have our first tap and our second tap. I told you when you watch this video, you have to learn. So we have these two taps, and then now this is our, this is our neckline. Can you see what has happened? So the market broke this neckline, broke this neckline with green candle. You can see here, we have a clear break of this neckline, meaning in a normal way and normal circumstances, if at all the market never activated this possible double top, you see, even if it broke, it activated this possible double top, but they can still consider this movement on that. And that's why I was saying last month that you are not strong buy because we were here the market was just going up so i was saying oh the market is still buying so that's the distance this market will go and they can even try to go half they can try to go half and you can see so at the end of the day what if what if they complete that because there was a double bottom on weekly and it broke the neckline and what if they try to complete do you see what they'll come to make? They'll come to make a double top, another double top. That's why sometimes it's not easy to trade of time frame, lower time frame, because even weekly, it's giving us so many things in a, in a, we have so many patterns. So which one will you use? We have a um, double bottom that broke neckline. Clearly you can see, and it is supposed to cover that distance up to 31.3060. That is one option. We have an activated double top that when the market broke this double bottom, it activated this double top and the market's supposed to drop, supposed to drop. So in this case, you don't have any like a double bottom. There's nothing, we don't have anything. So on weekly time frame, there is that, our mind is split, even because you can see from where the market reached to the destination is 729 pips. From where the market reached to the destination is 824. So they knew where they are at, it is halfway. It is half. So the market can either go up or down. And that's what I'm saying. Why would you want to trade a trade where even when you enter is a 50% chance of winning? Because trading GBPUSD, it's a 50% chance of winning. If at all, we won't wait on monthly. Because even on weekly, high possibility of this market buying. The way I was saying, oh, this market by the way, it can buy to the half. If you see this half, this half is a half of the of the famous double top on the on the um, the famous double top on the monthly. This is a zone where the market can come and land to. And you see, immediately at that zone, we have a small double top. So the market can come to that area and create a double top. So guys, can you see why I do not I do not tell people to trade when monthly has not confirmed? Now, if you go to daily, more confusion, more, more confusion. Why? Because in the midst of daily, <laughs> guys, I'll tell you, here there is a lot of confusion. Like I was checking daily and I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Why? Why? Why waste my time trying to trade daily when there's so much confusion? You want to see what people go through every day? And that's why people are saying they can't understand the market. That's why people are saying Forex is hard. Because you fix your mind in lower time frame. Only monthly has an opinion. And if a monthly has a pattern that has not confirmed, kindly avoid that chart. You'll get confused. So this is daily. We have identified that there are areas that you would want to see. As long as the market is not at 29, we cannot trade a sale unless monthly candle closes. Now, this is what 
that this is what daily has a double bottom just 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 follow follow and you'll see what i mean so we have a double bottom remember this double bottom is nowhere we don't have it on monthly we don't have on it on weekly it's only on daily so we have that double bottom we have our neckline very interesting so we have our neckline and then we have our half so that's what we have on the daily time frame guess what has happened what has happened can you see half has been broken and you see many people are telling me now can we buy gbpusd because half has been broken and i was telling them half being broken is not a problem but have you checked on your left what is there there's an obstacle and this obstacle this obstacle has created a double top so messed up so we have a double bottom let me write them so that and this is a double bottom because breaking half gives us a double bottom. So we have a double bottom. If you trade daily GBPSD, I don't know. You will see. I don't know what you'll see. You you will you will have headaches because it is trying to what the markets try to tell people. They want you to choose one side, and when you choose one side, they have the details and they'll go against you. So don't choose. Wait the market to play out. So you have the double top. And then here you have possible double top. So which one will you take? Possible double top or double top? In this case, comment down below. I would want to know. In this case where there are two patterns that are playing out in one situation, which one do you pick? Do you pick the first one? Do you pick the second one? How do, you, how do we pick double bottom, possible double top? How do you pick? So... I will teach this is a live market stage. There's a trade I was involved and it had a pattern, then go in and create another pattern. And let me tell you, just follow what the market is doing. Don't stick on this double bottom. The market has given you double a possible double top. Just be out. Don't these are trades that you don't enter. The trades that break half and activate a pattern do not enter so let's see if that half has been broken this double top has they br have they broken half so messed up have they broken half can you see yesterday they broke half so what does this tell you what does this tell you that it tells you one thing that this market might come down might come down because we don't know what else it will activate? But you see, there's nothing else to activate. So GBPUSD might come down. But that does not, does not mean you go and sell. No. Because they have so many things. Uh, if which one, which support would you, would you use here to know that the market is on a sell? Is it that one? Because you need to understand that there's that support that you check for you to know it's a strong sell. Can you see how many zones we have on daily and that's why daily will not help you to make a decision guys it will not help you which time frame will help you the only time frame that can help you is this weekly if they come and break this area or monthly if they break our box remember the box i told you so let me end it there gbpusd give it a month give it a rest just observe it. We will observe if the market will go up at 29, if it does not, because there's no way we can get involved. Even if you want to get involved in this market, how will you get involved? Because it's, it's, um, it's giving you so many entries on both sides. Sell ideas, buy ideas, so that it has you have 50% chance. But if it reached 29, already we know it's a sell. If monthly it breaks, you know it's a sell. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned. Uh, go through this video again. And this month, the only thing that you'll be doing is observing GBPUSD at a distance. Mark everything. We are not saying if you don't trade it, it doesn't mean you don't analyze it. It doesn't mean you don't see what it happens. Even say, in this case, if I bought, what could have happened? For instance, if this uh, half has broken, if we sell back to 23 if you sell now
back to 23. We are just saying, if you sell, it's 125. So you have to analyze and then you come and say, oh, if I would have sold in real life, it would not be a wrong trade. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you. Until next time. Bye-bye.